Okay, first thing first, look at this. It feels like you are staring at a massive theater screen or the cleanest projector you have ever seen. But here's the trick. That scream, that insanely sharp giant picture that's inside my glasses. This thing that looks like a pair of sunglasses, yeah, that's the Rokit's AR Spatial. You slip it on, literally just slide it onto your face, and suddenly you've got a 300 inch display hanging right in front of your eyes. No setup ritual, no bulky headset crushing your skull, just glasses. And it instantly makes you ask yourself, how far can something this small actually go? That question is exactly what sent me down this rabbit hole. So let me show you what comes in the box. You get a Max 2 glasses and a Station 2, which is basically the brand of the whole operation. The glasses give you the display, the station runs the system. Simple. But the genuine shocker, the fit and feel was simply stunning. Compared to an Apple Vision style headset, this thing is ridiculously lightweight. I mean absurdly light. It even weighs less than most over-ear headphones. It's the kind of device you truly forget is on your head. Now, if you had never worn glasses before, you might need a little time to get used to the sensation. Personally, I was completely accustomed to the weight after just a couple of tries. And let me give you a real life test. My wife is not a tech person at all. Usually when I hand her a gadget, she just looks at me like I gave her a spaceship manual. But I toast this to her with zero explanation. No tutorial, no instructions. And within minutes, she was flying through menus like she had been using it for years. That's when I realized Rocket nailed the everyday usability part. The diopter dials are incredible too. If you have vision impairment, rest assured, this device has you covered. You're gonna feel like you have been gifted new eyes. Simply twist the wheels to fine tune the focus, and you will watch the world sharpen as suddenly everything pops. The best part is its flexibility. The built in near side correction system supports a range from 0 to minus 6 diopter for myopia correction. Unboxing this is cool, but actually putting it on and adjusting focus hits way harder. Now let's get into the wild part. Because this isn't just some fancy screen mirroring toy. Think of it like your phone plus a monitor. Except the monitor is strapped to your face and follows you anywhere. Inside the Rokia system, you're basically using a full Android ecosystem. And I mean full. There's the Google Play Store, there's all your regular apps. Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Instagram, TikTok, Messenger apps, browsers, literally everything you will expect on the phone. And on top of that, you also get special apps. Things built only for AR glasses, floating interface utilities, immersive viewers, special tools. It's fun in a very nerdy way. And now let me explain spatial computing the way you're actually gonna feel it. Using one app is simple. Everyone can do that. But the moment you open three apps at once, it hits you. In the real world, doing this needs three separate screens, three monitors on the desk. But here, it's all just floating around you. I can pin a browser to the left, a video in the middle, and my chat on the right. And everything sits perfectly in space like it's meant to be there. This is generally where Rokit becomes fun, not just useful. You use the touchpad on the station to drag windows, resize them, toast them around, zoom in, zoom out. And the whole thing feels weirdly natural, like you are rearranging furniture in your brain. Now let's talk entertainment because this part completely sold me. Open Netflix and suddenly you are sitting in your personal cinema. Honestly, this device makes me look forward to my daily chill time even more. I spend maybe an hour or two watching TV series every night, and now I just crave it. Seriously, if you watch shows like Stranger Things, Using this is just next level enjoyment. The immersion is fantastic, and the built-in sound system is actually amazing. It's hi-fi quality. YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Twitch, they all run perfectly smooth. And then you start playing with the window ratios. You can stretch the screen wide. I mean ultra-wide 21 by 9 like being in a movie theater. Or you can put it into a long, skinny banner for when you need to multitask. Or just stick to the classic 60 by 9 for general browsing. Browsing. Every ratio works flawlessly whether you are watching movies, browsing the web, taking notes, or just doom scrolling social media. And for watching in bed, 
or I was lying back and I just pushed the screen up so it floats right on the ceiling above me. Zero arm strain, zero neck strain. I feel like the lazier king on earth. It even supports 3D content and not that shocky cheesy theme park 3D. This is actual depths that feels clean and stable. I watch a few 3D clips and generally caught myself leaning forward a couple times without even thinking about it. Seriously, can you even believe the price on this thing? I just checked the site and it's under 500 bucks. You would probably spend more than that on a decent standalone monitor. And for that price, you're not just getting a screen that blows up to 300 inches but you're getting an Android computer through in two. That's insane. You can turn on reading mode, which pulls the window closer to your line of sight for a more comfortable reading experience. It even adjusts as you move your head, making it easier to focus on what you are reading. This way you can enjoy your reading without straining your eyes as much, and it really helps you stay engaged with the content. And gamers, this section is for you. The Mac still runs at 120Hz, and trust me, you really feel it. I hook up my Nintendo Switch, and it instantly becomes a portable iMac screen. Zelda, Mario, Splatoon, everything looks ridiculously smooth. And compatibility. This thing is nearly universal. Switch works. PS5 works. Stream Deck works. PC, yeah. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, you name it. If it outputs video, it basically plugs into this system. Switch gaming on a giant floating iMac screen is the closest I have seen to cheating in real life. But a sneaky killer feature, spot mode. I tried walking around my room with a screen pin in space and it stayed rock solid. No wobble, no nausea. On the train or bus, it stabilized the screen so your eyes don't feel like they're being punished for moving. For gamers, commuters, and people who hate motion sickness, this is a huge win. And now let me give you my honest feelings after using this every day. I love it. More than I expected, way more. For something that looks like sunglasses, it generally feels like stepping into a different space. I look forward to watching shows on it every night. I look forward to gaming on it. And the battery life. I watched two full movies in 3D and still have plenty left. It's fun, it's immersive. It shocked me with how complete it feels as a product. It's clear Rocket put a massive amount of effort into the user experience and controls. Take the station. It's not just the host device and power source. It also functions as a highly intuitive touchpad. Plus, you can switch the system settings to turn it into a point and click motion controller, which is incredibly priceless. Even though I'm not typically an Android user, navigating the system was totally seamless. Now, comparing it to a Vision Pro, look, that thing is amazing, but it's huge, heavy, and insanely expensive. Rokit gives you like 80% of the spatial computing vibe at maybe 20% percent of the price and honestly for most of us that's the sweet spot and if you love tag or you know someone who does this is probably the best christmas gift this year right now the ar spatial pack is 499 dollars nearly 30 percent off and it's the lowest price ever the glasses alone are discounted too and the rest of the rocket store goes up to 60 percent off if you're planning gifts this is the moment. So yeah, I'm hooked. It's futuristic, and it's honestly one of the coolest things I have put on my face this year. I've dropped the link and discount code in the description. Go take a look before the Christmas sales disappear. That's it for today's videos. See you in the next one.